This is Mr. And what I have for you today is a way to automatically get rid of breathing or greatly reduce breathing noise in your audio files using the Audacity free software. Now, before we tackle this task, we need to do a couple of things to the software to enable us to see the breathing a little bit better and to work with it better. First thing we do is we highlight the entire file. I'm only using a six, seven minute file here. Go to Effect and then go to Leveler. Now I'm using Audacity 2.1. Yours might be a newer model, newer version. I'm using an older version. Keep an eye on this left, keep an eye on this right. As you can see, these two breaths are far more visible now, but that doesn't mean that's the only breaths we need to get rid of. So once we've done the leveling, Go to Effect again and then to Compressor. And again, I'll just use the default settings here. Just running the compressor over the entire file will be fine. Thank you very much. Just let it do its thing. Now we're going to have four visible elements of breathing right in front of us. The two on the left, uh, one on the left, one on the right that we saw earlier, this one in the middle and this one here. Now before we tackle that, we need to get rid of the general low low level hum. Now go to the end of the audio file and select a couple of seconds worth of audio. Now some people say do it at the start, but I prefer to do this at the end because at the by the time you get to the end of your audio, your computer is usually working the hardest. So the fan or whatever, the hard drive might be spinning the most and making the most noise. So you need to get rid of the background noise the most at the end of the file. And usually when you finish talking, there's a lot less ambient noise that you are generally making. So here we go, hit effect, then noise reduction, get noise profile. That's it. We've got the profile of that little couple of seconds. Highlight the entire thing, come back down, noise reduction, and OK. So there we go. Now we just let that run its course. Keep an eye on this little bit of noise here at 646 to see if that little bit changes. And no, it hasn't really changed at all. OK, so now we've done that, we can go back to our little two minute mark where we have the audio that we want to get rid of. OK, so we'll just move this a little bit more so we can see all four. All right, so we'll have a listen to what they sound like first. We've got this. Oh, yep, OK. This one. Not so bad. This one. Not so bad. And then this one. OK, so both of the end ones are the loudest, so we're going to work with those. We're going to work with this one on the left hand side first. So what we'll do is highlight just the breath you want to get rid of. Now, I know some people say you need to highlight a couple of seconds worth using Audacity. You don't. Then go to Effect, then Noise Reduction. Yes, we're going to use the Noise Reduction technique on that one breath. Noise Profile, and then run that over the entire file. Pretty simple, but we have to Prepare the file to get to work with this first so that we had the good sound that the noise profile could work with the most because you're going to play with it if you're going to have a compressor and things like that. That's how you want to do it. Now, as you can see, the two in the middle are just about gone. This is still here a little bit and this one is still here. We're going to highlight this one again just to make sure. OK, we'll highlight that again and just do that again. Noise reduction. Yes, please. Get the noise profile and highlight and then noise reduction and run the whole thing again. Just to hear what it kind of sounds like once we're finished. OK, we're almost done, almost done. And that's looking pretty good. Now we can have a listen to what this sounds like. Hardly there at all. So if you're just doing a little bit of a normal audio, uh, it's quite fine. Listen to this one. That's negligible. And now we hear this one. Hardly there. And we'll have a listen to this one. OK, now that one had a little tiny little bit of an electronic -y sound to it. So we'll just highlight that. And we'll do the same thing again. Noise reduction, noise profile. Highlight the entire thing, effect, noise reduction, and just let that run its course. Now we'll do a couple of other little things after this. 
just in a second once we're done. And great. Now, before we finish, we're already highlighted. So we'll go to Effect and go to Equalization and choose Base Boost. So if you have nothing, that's fine. But just choose Base Boost on the Equalization. Hit OK. And just let that run its course. What that's going to do is boost base and you could remove the treble, but it will tend to, that will base boost will tend to remove that little pingy sound that we just heard. Go to effect again and this time go to normalize as we're still highlighted and we're now normalizing the entire track. So we're doing everything in one hit here. We've all normalized. We've got rid of the breath right across the board. Then Okay, now we've done all of that. Let's have a listen to how this sounds. You can hardly hear that anything happened. This one. There's no breath there at all that I could pick up. This one. Absolutely no breath at all. And this one. This one was the one that had the little electronic sound. Whoopsie. Uh, there we go. Highlight that. This had the little electronic sound. And it's gone. Hardly a breath there at all. Now, I don't mind leaving some very low level breath and you can hear, see that this one here that was right at the end. We didn't even work anywhere near this. This is gone now as well. Now, like I said, I don't mind leaving little tiny low level breaths in because that is how we normally speak or normally hear others talking. We can actually hear the breath. We're subconsciously hearing it. And when you don't hear anyone breathing and it's totally silence, the effect is you feel that you want the person to take a breath. You sit there thinking, come on, man, take a breath, because it's just dead silent. If you just can barely hear that breath, then we don't think that. And on top of that, if you listen carefully to singers on the radio, you can actually hear them breathing in the professionally released songs. In any case, that is how you automatically get rid of or fully reduce or fully get rid of breathing using Audacity from your audio files quickly and, and easily. It takes you minutes to do it. If you have any questions or comments about this, please leave them down below. If you like this sort of content and you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.